All right, let's go. Let's go, Mescal. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right, tonic and Mescal. Great. What else we got? Here, I'll show it to you. It's the tequila blanco, quite literally. It says yeah, tequila blanco. Great. One ounce of that and a quarter ounce of Mescal. Let's do about half an ounce of that grapefruit shove in there. All right, do you have regular table salt? Yep. Let's grab that. Put that between your fingers like this and crush it, crush it, crush it. But don't be afraid. Crush it like you crush men's egos. Do you have any herbs? Uh, yes. Yeah, which one? Sa you I think sage. we have mint, sage, and uh, cilantro. Let's pull the sage out. Sage is great. All right, cool. Take two leaves, the most prettiest ones, set them aside. Natalia, take two of your smallest glasses and put them in the freezer. Oh, Natalia, grab the cocktail shaker. It's going to be shaking, Diego. The first thing we did, that was for one cocktail, so you're going to double it. You're going to do two ounces okay. of the dragones and then a half ounce of the mezcal. Yeah, let's just do a quarter ounce of simple in there as well. I have a honey sage uh, shrub, not a shrub, honey sage simple. Let's go ahead and pull the honey sage out. You have two cocktails, let's go for a half ounce of honey sage. Beware of what stays in the half ounce of the jigger because it will be residual that stays left. You want that in the glass as well. Yep, all right, cool. And then I put the sage leaves in there or no? So tell me before you do that, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna tear them, crush them, put them in the palm of your hand, roll them, and then you're gonna drop them in. Take the stems off. That's gonna equate to bitterness. You don't want that. Here's what we're gonna do first. Halfway tear the leaf down the center, not lengthwise, widthwise. All four of those you put in this palm. Take these fingers, mira, these two fingers, and this thumb from your opposite hand. Grab the leaves. Yeah, exactly. You should feel them get wet in your fingers because that's the oils coming out. Now put it in your drink where you should have honey shrub to which the oils will absorb into them. Um, do you have regular ass freezer ice? No. <laughs> no. So all this is gonna go in the jigger? You should break that into like three pieces, Diego. You nervous, bro? Yeah, because Diego spilled the cocktail all over the floor. Spilled it, bro. Oh man, start it over. Do I have the salt at some point? I'll put it in the cocktail glass, which we're building your cocktail with. Salt is not in there yet. Thank you. We'll add that. All right, salt is in now. Great. Let's just add two dashes of angle syrup bitters. <coughs> what do you call a dash? You just flip it? That bottle needs to go all the way over, not a fucking pour like, yeah. One, one and then? One more. Two, okay. All right, you're good. Cool, Diego, we're gonna shake for eight seconds. When my hand does this, it's gonna, your shaking is gonna stop. When you shake, you shake as hard as you can. Keep your hand over the lid and keep your other hand at the base. One 1,000. And a 1,000, good. Yeah, take all the excess Campari and drop it out. You should have a light film of Campari around the glasses. When you pour these cocktails, don't fill one up all the way. Fill one halfway, the other halfway, 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 halfway. halfway. When you grab the cocktails, you're gonna put the sage leaf in your glasses. As a garnish? Yeah, but you're gonna twist it and rub it around the rim. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. Oh my God, that's delicious. Wow. Whoa, I can taste the sage separately from everything else. So many subtle flavors in this. This is dangerous. I could like, I could chug this, it's so good.